Hello and welcome back to Red Haze. So I got caught by the janitor again. Door is locked. This door is not. And instead of going through the door that had work labeled on it after I f failed to find him. <laughs> hey, that's the that's the announcer's laugh. Uh, that was when the, like, the big freakout thing happened. Oh no, he's coming for me. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Ah! Yes, you did. Again? Why am I back at the pool? See, this is already you different from last time. Back. I am back. I just want you to be happy. Is that so? I sat in the corner for a long time. It was nice there. My eyes itched, so I scratched them. Uh oh. I felt happy. The happiest I've ever felt. I felt over my body. I was new woman. It was comfort feel it wiggling inside. I wrote myself. Someone come. I scared. Scared them. I like here. No pain. My sense grow. I... Grow. Holy crap. Happy, no sad. Lick, feel. God knit. God knit to you too. Fascinating. Disturbing. I don't know what to say about that ending, to be honest. Um, I thought we were becoming the next custodian, but that is not what the custodian is, so I am not fully certain. Well, that's another ending for me, at the very least. Um, when I was in the area with the custodian, the keys were not where they were last time, so I don't know if I can get the keys again. So this time I think we're just going to head straight back to Starry and I don't know if I want to not take Starry with me since she disappears so quickly after or if I'm going to take her with me for that fact. Because I know I have to head into that room with the custodian again. The one that um, he caught me in the second time. So no matter what I have to go back for him. And try to get away from him. Let's head back in. Skip opening. Yeah, okay, this is something I noticed too last time. So there's no key here this time. Um... So to get the key to appear, you have to go in the hobo hole. But in this room, where there was a note originally that talked about it being uh, a home... I don't remember what it was. There was a time I once lived in this apartment. I came to this room all these years later to see how much it had changed. Little did I expect it had been run out of business, and now I was crawling with hobos, druggies, and squatters. 
A shame to see it come to this. It almost feels like a part of me has been violated. I guess what they say is true. Ignorance is bliss. So now if you go in the hobo hole... So yeah, that note is different if you go see it before you go in the hole. Um, but now if you go in the hobo hole, the key will appear. In we go. Hello, voice. I'm assuming the voice is not the custodian. It's a key. It is a key. It's not mine, but it's sitting here. Oh, hang on a second. Something... Never mind. Something changed with my recording equipment for a second, and I was like, no, don't do that, please. I like being able to do my recording. So on we go. No point in saving at this point right now. You took it, I did. I wonder if I can get away with not taking the key if that changes something. I highly doubt it. Yeah, I see you. I... I want to go after the janitor and see if I can find the key again, but I really don't think there's a point to it. I think I'm just going to go and see Starry. Or I might even just completely skip over Starry. I may not even talk to her. I don't know. I kind of want to take Starry with me, though, in case I make it through this time. Well, the butt didn't come out this time. Why would they build one here? I don't know. It's home to butts, but... You know what? Sorry, we're taking you with us. Come on, girl. Uh, oh! Well, nice! Well, yes, you're coming with me. Come sure, on. But I'm... I look forward... I forgot to look to see if huh? Starry and Rocket are voiced oh, by the same person. Oh, I don't mean to intrude. Just, it might have... Yeah, man. Let's roll. Come on. Please don't... Hey! Wait! Come along, Starry. And I shall read the... story tale thing again. So that way, it is just this room. I don't know what it is. It's really weird. That's the very bottom one, yeah. Fairy tales. Fairy tales. Stories aren't true. Thank you, thank you. Yoo-hoo! Rocket! You. I am here. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, just kind of spaced out a bit. What's on your mind? Aliens. I was just thinking, I haven't seen her- You have a younger sister? You- Yeah, I tried to- I needed to get away from Oh, I there. wonder if she disappears because of the fact we ha we have to get chased by the guy. Sorry. I guess we that would make continue. sense. So I could probably find her on Let's the other going. side. I gotta figure out what this guy's pattern... Excuse me. I don't know if the guy, if he has a pattern. Because something I noticed when I got caught last time, I went up to go get the keys and he was up in that area. Um, so I don't know. Goodbye. Huh? Starry? She didn't want to talk to you anymore. Where'd she go? I said she didn't want to talk. Actually, you know what? I might save. <sighs> that feels like cheating, though. Alright, let me regain my stamina here a second. So we know there are rubber gloves up north. I don't want to run in case he... Oh 
gotta get in the room. Spade key. Well, I don't need a spade. I need a fork, but I appreciate ya. Alright, I guess I'll keep heading north. I appreciate that. But this place needs to speak. You know what? Screw that room. I'm, go I'm moving on with my life. We're going into the spade room. I didn't like that room anyways. I'm also pretty sure if I tried to go back south again, he was gonna find me. What are these? Teru Teru Bozu. There are Japanese dolls there. That's supposed to bring good weather or bring the rain with a prayer and then turning them to face a different direction. Let's not. Yeah, I don't have a reason to turn anything right now. Sometimes to truly see, you must take step, take a step out of your own mindset. We are times, we at times are trapped in a box, keeping us from seeing the full scope. Fascinating. Well, what happened? Okay, so let's turn west. Why not? Oh, west is the way it was already looking. North. Why not? This room is also a little laggy. Crap. Green, red. Turn this one south. I really don't know. I'm Turn it east. Wolf scrolling of a black abyss. Nice day, yeah. White clouds. Oh, do I maybe turn them all in one direction? I want a sunny day. Make it go south. Make all of them go south. I want it to be sunny as fuck. Awesome. that change anything out here. It certainly doesn't seem to have. Another key. Here's another spade. And a save point. Brilliant. So I'm not sure what was up with the uh, turning of the creatures, but um, if it turns out that it's necessary to go back for it, I will go and take a look. I don't know what's up with this place. Let's take a look around. Hello! Oh, more of these fucking things! Just one this time. Dead trees stand, reaching out to the light of the sun. Rain? Wait, maybe scrawlings have to do with how, where they were in the thing? Can I even reach that? No, I can't actually reach that one. But do I maybe have to change it from the room and it changes the other ones? So, like, this room is begging for water. Dead trees stand, reaching out to the light, almost as if they're seeking life from it. So, this room maybe needs rain? I guess that would make sense. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Before I go running back for that room and have to deal with the freaking guy again. The lighthouse?
time I go somewhere that has these windows. Whatever you do, don't let it see you. Don't let it see you. Don't let it see you. It doesn't like seeing things. It scratches out its eyes, but they only grow back. Forever looking, but it hates what it beholds. We're so sick. It sees me. Another creature I have to be afraid of? Electric burners. Could cook here if I need to. Shared living space. Awesome! Got a toy plane! Drawer is jammed. Um, let's see if. No, it's just a sink. I was about to say, I couldn't remember if. I have a toy plane now for some reason. I just wanted to go see my drug dealer. Damn it, don't make me have choices. I get that's what this game is all about, but damn, I'm really bad at this stuff. It's fine. Awesome. Uh, some adrenaline. Nice. Piss stained bucket. Literally, shit stained object is in there. Could use the plunger, but yeah, fine, whatever. Well, this is a nice room. I've been living in these apartments for over a month now. It's kind of cozy here, but I hear something terrible happened, which is why it's abandoned now. There's two other people that I know of that live in these apartments: some drug dealer by the name of Auntie G and a quiet, kind of quiet girl named Rockette. I guess she can be loud sometimes when she's upset. She seems mostly to like. She seems to mostly like to keep to herself. Auntie G gives me the creeps. She looks unnatural somehow. I don't know how to play how to explain it. Though those are the only two people I know who I know that live here. A lot of girls come in and out of these apartments for drugs. I don't know how Auntie G gets the word out, but she seems to be doing something right to attract such a big female audience. I think there's a fourth person that lives here as well. At least someone that cleans up the place. I doubt it's either of them. I've never seen this person though. Hope I can make a home here. Starry. Heater, but it's turned off. Probably. Th they're nice? Yeah, Starry. So Starry's been around here somewhere. Wonder where. I miss you, Starry. Come back. I guess I'll go upstairs. Absolutely go upstairs. Great. I was enjoying the, the, the niceness. Door's jammed for now. Door's locked from the other side. Excellent. Play any cassette Oh no, not again. Don't make me listen to the cr super creepy cassette tapes from Cry- or Cry of Fear. Close your eyes. Around the corner I go, I suppose. Looks like there's a f 
fence or something there. Someone needs to take out the trash. You don't take your trash out either. These bags real quick. Just to make sure there's no cassette tapes in them. Hello? Auntie G! Auntie G, you're seriously fucking scary, actually. Maybe jump. I was beaten and abused. Humiliated. I couldn't pay up anymore, so I was no longer of any use to Auntie G. I don't know why I expected otherwise. In the end, no one gives a rat's ass about the homeless. We are killed or swept up in the night for whatever ends anyone who bothers me, please. I had done a lot for Auntie G. No, that's a lie. I had done a lot for my next fix. I couldn't give a fuck who gave it to me. But for every drug exchange, I traded something I began to have less and less of. More than just money. I had given up my own humanity. Myself. Somewhere along the way, I had crossed a line. I had stopped caring about almost anything. And that's not true either. I just didn't want to feel. I just didn't want to be myself any- Sorry. I was left in complete darkness for days. I don't know. Maybe it was a bit longer or shorter than that. I wasn't given anything to eat or drink, so all I did was sleep. I slept and I slept. I'd wake up and my mouth would be dry. But there wasn't anything to drink. I began to go into relapse. I was in constant pain. I became cold, shaking and sweating. A mess of spasms, pains and cravings. I guess I hadn't had a fix in a while, huh? One day, light seeped into the room. I felt a cold and hard chain as it was shackled to my ankle. The chain was pulled with great force, dragging me out across the floor, but I didn't put up much of a fight. Was I being trafficked? This is my life now, huh? When you lack power in this world, you lack options. I waited for the inevitable, but as time went on, we weren't moved anywhere. Nor did anyone come in. Still, no one was allowed to leave. We were just left to idle. What was their game here? Are you happy? No, I'm not. I can make you happy. I don't know if I want to be happy. Everyone wants to be happy. I don't know if I do. You do. You just won't let yourself. I'll make you happy. I'll let myself in. Happiness is what all humans want. And we will be happy together. We will. I began to change. And I was happy. That's a new song. Okay. Um. <sighs> so, actually, <laughs> damn it! I actually like this song. Um, we know this game's gonna close down in a minute, anyways. No, they were voiced by different people. 
Um, so, I just thought about this while we were watching it. So, said I didn't have any more money for Auntie G. But back in the custodian's area was the uh, was deodorant or whatever the fuck it was. Um, that it says is often used to trade in drug money. So I may have to go get that and then go see Auntie G. Shit, that means I have to go deal with him in that room again. That's fine. Four of twenty-six. Which of course means that it's time for us to end the episode. And I will, you know what? I'll go grab the the stuff and I'll head to Auntie G's. And if anything changes in the meantime, I'll start up a video. I'll see you guys next time.